What's up everybody, welcome to Podcast Now, I'm Alex, and in this video I want to talk about September. It's the month that we're in, yes, but it's also, hopefully, the month that we get something PlayStation related in terms of a big show. And that's kind of the question I want to ask you guys, uh, kind of just go through my feelings about it overall. Um, now I'm recording this on September 1st, I really wanted to get this video up on September 1st, but just because of other videos I had up or was going to do, or you know, whatever, it goes up uh, September 2nd, I think it'll still you know, uh, age well and all that stuff. I mean, maybe we get an announcement today. There are some people online when I'm recording, right? So yesterday, your guys' time, there are people somewhat confident that maybe we get something uh, announced today of, uh, of some sort of show, maybe next week or the week after. Well, I mean, at this point, uh, I'm, I'm gonna, uh, you know, we've been told so many things from so many people. Now I do... It's tough because, trust me, I love calling people out. I love calling out gaming journalists. I love calling out insiders when they were kind of are, are full of themselves and they don't know anything, right? I love doing it. So I'm not go if you if you are you know calling people out, I'm totally with you. I'm not opposed to it at all. However, what I will say in their defense, which is very odd of me to do, right? But in their defense, I do. I guess sense, right? Maybe like a Jedi. I sense that there was supposed to be something in August. I mean, you had some very... Yes, you had people that maybe not everybody believes, okay? But you also had people that I think are pretty respectable, that seemed pretty confident August was the month. So I feel like it was pushed. I feel like it was supposed to happen in August, and now we are, are, are here in September. Now, again, you could easily come at me with, well, Alex, every month people expect, you know what I mean? Like every like July, August, now September. If it doesn't happen this month, everybody would say, well, October's got to be the month, right? And I, again, I wouldn't disagree with you. It's the way that it's kind of been pounded into our heads and just talked about where it's it's hard to, d to disagree, I guess, with that uh, standpoint. You know what I mean? But I do think September makes sense. It's tricky with timing. I know a lot of people are kind of lining it up with the Death Stranding trailer. I do think it's got to be within the first, again, like today's September 2nd, like next week or very early the week after because and I know a lot of people are lining up with Death Stranding, but you have Kena as well. Don't forget Kena Bridge of Spirits, which is a game I've been pumping up as much as I possibly can. And uh, But it's a game that's totally, you know, it's coming. And it's coming September 21st. So that game actually comes out before. You know, that game comes out, I believe, the Tuesday. And then Death Stranding comes out that Friday. So that, that week is just PlayStation uh, Mania, which is a good... I mean, I'm, I'm very excited for that week personally in my life. Um, but I, I think it's got to beat that. It's got to be before it. So... So I'm hoping, I'm hoping I'm, you know, I'm at a point with games or with, I guess, PlayStation where it's like, if it happens, fantastic. If it doesn't happen, I can wait. And I, and I get that's not for everybody. And I, because I, I do, I really, I really do understand that because you'll see people that are only interested in one thing or another. And I don't think that's wrong. That's, that's everybody's right to be interested in whatever they want. I'm more open and just like the factual way of like I try a lot of different games I'm into a lot of different games so I think like I can I'm not saying I'm more patient than people I'm, I'm saying like I can wait while doing or playing other games or being interested in other games and wait for Sony to go you know what I mean I'll play Life is Strange next Friday if, if there's no you know PlayStation show next week that's fine I have something to look forward to um you know even Kena or Death Stranding stuff like that but you know if you're excited for God of War and that's like your only thing I get how it's a disappointment, you know, that Sony's not doing it. But I would expect something big. I know, you know, I, I did a tweet yesterday asking, pleading PlayStation to do something. And I know some people were saying, like, I don't think they'll do anything because, like, their next big game, Horizon, is in February. I honestly don't think that matters at all. Um, you need to get people excited. I, I've said it before, a sad but real thing with PlayStation is there is zero PS5-only games that we know of. Okay, there's games that come out on PS5 as the only system, but then also PC or console and then PC. There's games that come out on PS4 and PS5. And I know people are going to say, at, like, you know what? Don't even say this, but I know people will anyway, right? Alex, not everybody has a PS5. I don't care. My point for this specific segment of the video, my point is people have PlayStation 5s. People are getting PS5s. And factually, we do not know a single game that's releasing only on that system. Whereas over the last year, we have gotten, you know, Returnal, Ratchet and Clank, like we have gotten stuff, but we need more and we need those announced. And I feel like you're only going to get those 
and the, you know like this is where I'm going with my thoughts right we're only gonna get those at a big Sony event you're not gonna get it at the indie state of play which by the way I actually enjoy those quite a bit I love Sifu I love like the games they've shown even the one uh, back in the day like little devil inside and stuff like that like I've enjoyed them a lot but they're not for everybody and they don't really show big big stuff that's coming so I guess two parts to this, right? Number one, I do hope there's a Sony show in September, but to be honest, I'll you know I'll be blatantly honest, this is uh, like a go big or go home situation. And what I mean from that is, you know, like would I be sad if it was a, an indie thing? I think I actually would, but like I would still enjoy it. Like there's no doubt, like I would probably like it. And you'd say, and I, I guess this maybe would be the point that people say, well, it's because you're a PlayStation fanboy. That's laughable. Go watch my other videos, but. You know, I would probably enjoy it, but I wouldn't want it. I, honestly, we're at the point where you need to show. So you like you delayed Horizon. I mean, you gave it a release date, which is awesome, and I did not expect that at Gamescom. And I'm really happy, and I have no problem with it being in February. But you did that in Gamescom when I I, I think that was supposed to be at their show. Okay, so like you could show Horizon again, but you don't even need to, to be honest with you. God of War, I think it's time because, you know, you have people like me who never thought it was coming out in 2021. You have people like PlayStation who were very, uh, like, they were, they were very aggressive in the fact that they're like, no, 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 the game 100%. We never once thought it wasn't coming out this year. That's why we said 2021, but it got delayed because of obvious reasons. I, I really think they're lying, and I think it was never supposed to come out this year. But, you know, regardless, they need to show stuff. They need to show a trailer for that game. You need to show Forspoken. You need to show Final Fantasy. Now, some of this stuff can happen not at PlayStation events, but, I mean, this stuff also, I mean, you, you need to have this stuff. You do. Um, you know, uh, I don't know if you link it with Abandoned. Obviously, you know, the, the game that may not even be an actual game. You know, I don't know if you do that. Do you announce, uh, like, PC stuff? So, like, Uncharted is making the rounds again. You know, do you talk about that? Like, there's a lot you can do. Um, there's a lot of studios. You know, Sony owns quite a few studios. And they don't own as many as Microsoft, but a lot of Sony studios have more than... I'm not saying, you know, this actually does happen for Microsoft as well, so I'm not comparing them. Like Naughty Dog or Insomniac, a lot of these studios are two-teamed studios. And I know Naughty Dog has technically said they're not. They're absolutely lying. They are. Uh, you know, th this like this stuff, you can have more than one thing going on at one time, right? Can we see The Last of Us multiplayer? There is plenty that even we know about that they could show. And then there's plenty that we don't know about. You know, Sly, is that coming back? What do you have planned for next year? I mean, you have God of War, yes, and you have Horizon. I guess you also have Forspoken. You probably have Final Fantasy, but, like, you know, we don't know that for sure. You know what I mean? So can you please be a little bit more transparent? I don't know. I mean, obviously, they're playing the we're winning strategy where they're so far ahead. Their games are selling well. Their consoles are selling well. They, they know where they're at. They know they have fans, and so they don't really need to play like the good guy online. It's very clear Microsoft is doing that, where Sony is not. But you know, back in the day, it was reversed. With the PS3 era, PlayStation was that. They were the, you could even call them desperate, and that's not a bad thing. They were desperate to kind of come back and start winning again. So they were just better, I would say, with consumers. Microsoft was not, which led into the uh, Xbox One era, which... PlayStation dominated with a blend, and Microsoft really lost, but now Microsoft's come back. And, and it's not really a war. It's not. I, I really don't care because I've played many Microsoft games, specifically over the actually last couple months, and I'm going to continue. I want things from everybody. I want to see God of War just like everybody else. So I hope it happens in September, but again, I'm really... It needs to be a big one. It needs to have third-party games. It needs to have PS5 games. It needs to have PS4 games. Can it have PSVR 2? Like, can we see that finally? Like, these are things that I think they need to show. And I guess it doesn't have to happen in September. It could do October, November, even December around the Game Awards time. Um, but I, th I think they do need something. I mean, it's it's been now, okay? It's been a full year. I think September, oh geez, September 16th, somewhere in that range, was the one last year where they showed, uh, you know, the, the teaser for God of War. They revealed Hogwarts Legacy, third party, right? But that was the last big one. They had the one in June and the one in September last year. Uh, yes, they've had stuff since then, but in terms of big shows that, like, you can, like, applaud them for, that, like, oh my god, you killed it, 
September of last year was the last one. So let's see if it happens uh, this September. Maybe we have to wait a little bit longer. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Make sure, as always, you guys are subscribed to the channel. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up. Obviously, I cover PlayStation quite a bit on the channel. And so if anything ever happens in regards to you know a, a PlayStation live stream, I'll for sure be covering it. If you guys want to follow me on Twitter or subscribe to my second channel or support us on Patreon or YouTube memberships, links for all of them are in the description below, okay? Thank you for watching, guys, and I hope to see you all on the next video.